and Damon here from Games and Brains, the headbanging lad, gbhbl.com for sure. And it's tier ranking time as we are going to be ranking all the levels that exist in Banjo Kazooie. Yes, the original game from Nintendo 64, the classic 3D platformer from Rare. A game I love, a game you love, right? Yep, definitely. I understand. And we don't have we don't have much to rank here. We don't have many, many levels to go through here, but still we thought we'd do it. And of course, our rankings are the best, great, good, which is the middle, meh, or bad. So you ready to get started, yeah? Oh yeah, definitely. So we'll do it. We'll, we'll try and stick to should I stick to the order? I'm trying to think if it's worth sticking to the order. Yeah, let's stick to the order. Uh, as you kind of reach them in the game. So let's begin with Gruntilda's Lair overall. So this is basically the overworld area. We actually go into levels, each one themed a bit differently as you make your way through it. Occasionally there's the odd bad guy here and there. There are some secrets dotted around. What do you reckon? I, I, I mean, I quite like the lair. Obviously it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite obviously open. It's, it's, it's quite open. You know, there's many, many different areas. Yep. As you said, each, each area changes. For yeah. the environment of the level, which is quite cool. Yeah. Um, it's got cool music. The whole three bears going to the woods oh, that changes yeah. per area as well. But it's not a level per se. Should we just stick it in the middle in good? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Start there with putting that one in good. Okay. Mumbo's Mountain. So basically, oh, yeah. the very first level you come to. Um, it's very, very straightforward. Its dominant feature is the mountain. You climb up it. There's not a lot to say about this one, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's quite a small level too, you know. Obviously, yeah. it's, your, it's your start level to get you used to playing the game, I guess, you know, and to experience what, what a level's like. Yeah. Uh, I mean, me, me personally, I, I, I can't think of any awful levels or bad levels. So for me, I'll put this in the middle. Oh, good as well. Mm. What do you reckon? Above or below Gruntilda's Lair? I think below it, to be honest. Oh, uh, I, I would have put it in Mare, so I'll go with you there, bottom of good. Treasure Trove Cove. So this is like a kind of beachy sort of area with many... This is one of the bigger levels. It's also got a pirate ship in the middle. It's where you can... I think it's the first time you, you can fly in the game as well. Uh, it's got a high peak in the middle uh, block area. I think this, this one's really, really cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, so it's 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 one of those it's one of those levels which is it's quite open. I mean, you've got the annoyance of the shark too in the water, which is which is quite quite cool. Yeah, I mean, I would stick this level in good. Oh, I'd go high. I was gonna put it in great. Uh, well, I mean, great stuff. What what's the, what's the ranking again? What's that? Sorry. What's the list ranking again? We got the best, great, good, meh, bad. Okay, well, well then, 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 yeah, it'll go, it'll go great. Yeah, I think it's very, very memorable. I did forget one. We've got to go back to the start. Uh, Spiral Mountain. <laughs> mm. The opening area, the very first thing when you first get control of Banjo and Kazooie, and uh, you've got to make your up, way up to Gruntilda's Lair. It's it's just a training area, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's where you learn all your moves, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. So, probably, probably again, good. Bottom yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah. Clanker's Cavern. So this is the one with the giant shark in the sort of giant fishy shark thing. You have to help it out. You can go inside it. Um, this is all underwater swimming. Okay, let, 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 let's get, get straight into it. Swimming is one of the most difficult things in this game. Yes, I agree. But, but I do love this level. It's, it's, a, it's a great level. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's, it's a good level. I, I mean, minus the annoyance of the swimming, which is so difficult, especially especially if you try and go for the notes and you die. Yeah, and the cameras are terrible for it, and it doesn't swim yeah. great. Uh, that's kind of what puts me off the level. Where would you put it then? I would probably put it in maybe meh. Yeah, I was going to say meh, but you said you loved it. it, it I, I mean, it's, it, it's it's a great level, mm. but like I say, it, it's got it's got a lot of it's got a lot of, a lot of negatives. There it is then. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm happy with that. Bubble Gloop Swamp, which is exactly as it sounds. Big old swamp area, uh, small platforms to move along, land in the swamp, you get hurt, that aspect. This one is very unmemorable for me. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it, it, again, it's a it's an, it's an interesting level, yep. but it's, it's, it's not one of my favourites. No, same. 
I mean, I, I would probably go again for for Matt again. Great. But probably only because of the angles and the underwater, maybe above Clanker's Cavern. I put it, I was going to say below because for Clanker's Cavern, I remember more Clanker's Cavern. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I remember I'll, more we'll too. Go with you in this one. Let's put it above. Yeah, let's go with you. Okay, let's we'll put it. We'll go with you. Freezery Peak. So of course this is um, the snow based level has a giant uh, snowman. It's kind of Christmas themed as well. It's got great music. You can fly like this. Um, for me, this is one of the best levels in the game. Yeah, definitely. It, it I goes love this level. I mean, it's it, it's a beautiful level. It's got a Christmas theme, you mm. know, and the music is is, is beautiful. Yep. The snowman, you know, and kind of there's good there's good tasks as well to get the um the pieces in here. Like, like mm. you have to launch yourself in the button, into the buttons of the snowman to get one. You've got to save the Chris, get to help the Christmas lights get to the tree. You've mm. got to help that uh, that Yeti or whatever he is with his kids. Mm. Yeah, there's some good stuff in this. Yeah, we're, we're racing the polar bear. So you've got, you've got to race him around the map too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Would you reckon the best? Definitely the best. Yeah, I'm down with that. The best, absolutely. Mm. Mad Monster mm. Mansion, the horror themed level. It takes place in and around the giant mansion. Again, yeah, I love this level. This I mean, is, it's this so is, cool looking. Love the yeah, music. Yeah, I mean, for, for me, this just never goes in the best too, because again, I mean, the music, the level, the, the graphics of the level, I mean, even the character, you turn, you turn into a pumpkin and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely in there for the best. Yeah, t above or below Freezer Peak? <sighs> it's as hard one, because I mean, I, I, love the, I love the whole Christmas theme. It's below. It's below. I, I'm with you. The Christmas theme wins out. <laughs> really does. Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, man. Shit. It, it, yeah, so this, so this level here, again, it's, it, it's another Clanker's Cavern, but worse. It's more maze-like, I think. Mm. More maze-like. Um, I'm kind of... Should we, put it, should we put it alongside Clanker's Cavern and Meh? Yeah, because I, 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 I'm thinking of one specific point where you're in, where you've got to swim under the ship and the, the things are moving around and it's literally just tiny little platforms and the thing's spinning around, you've got to yeah. jump. Yeah. The amount of above times I don't. Above or below Clanker's Cavern then? It's going, it, it, for me, it's got to go below, below because, of, because of the annoyance of constant dying. Yeah, I'll go with you on that. Uh, I missed one. We'll go back to it now. Gobi's Valley. So the oh, desert that's... level, uh, the pyramids and stuff like that. This again is a super memorable level for me, but not the best. Yeah, I, I mean for me it'll go one below in 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 a group below. But uh, again, it's, it's it's a very it's a very memorable level. I mean, mainly because Banjo is such a dick that he's the poor camel. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we see him, he, he, he steals water. Yeah, you remember those aspects, don't you? <laughs> above or below uh, Treasure Trove Cove, though, I would put it above. Yeah, above, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's nearly in the best because it's very memorable, but not quite there. Okay, it's here. I think potentially the contender for the top of the best. Click, clock, wood. So of course, this all takes place around the giant tree, spread across four seasons. You know, take take away the annoyance of climbing the tree and falling and dying. Yeah. But this this level is if it's the best. It's going straight to the top for me because. The, the playing four different seasons and how and how it changes and how the bird grows, the house gets built and the water and all that is just such a brilliant level. I 100% agree. I, I echo everything you're saying there. Uh, Click Hot Wood is the most memorable level. Um, it is frustrating because it's got tight platforming sections, but also mm -hmm. it's one of those super satisfying ones. But to move through the different seasons and play it from four different angles where mm -hmm. based on the season situation will have changed was really clever. It is the best level in the entire game. Top yeah, level. definitely. And there's one more, one more I decided to include, even though technically it's not our level. It is the final boss, not the fight for the <laughs> till that, the quiz sec section, section. So if you don't know everyone, when you get to the final area, uh, Gruntilda, just before you fight her, you've got to go across a game board. And across that game board, you will be asked quiz questions about events that have occurred in the game, which is kind of fun. Can I just say, uh, I, I, I mean, for, for a sort of ending boss, what, what a brilliant idea. Yeah, 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 I mean, the actual boss itself is nothing special, but mm. the quiz aspect is a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I, mean, is, I, I can't put it in great because um, it is just a quiz, but I think it belongs in good, right? 
Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, the amount of times that I, I've literally got to the end and I purposely killed myself just to do it again. Yeah. There's, there's, there's obviously different routes you can take. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's really enjoying that. I mean, the guessing the scenes, the pictures, the different voices and different characters. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I'd put this in good alongside Gruntilda's Lair uh, mm. after it. Yeah, yeah. And that's the levels done. It's a short one this time, but we'll give you a quick overview of what we've included here. So we said no levels were bad. We have not put anything in there. The mayor levels we've said are Rusty Bucket Bay, Clanker's Cavern, and um, Bubble Gloop Swamp. Now it's interesting that two out of three of them are water-based swimming levels. Yeah, if you played banjo, you know, the, the, the swimming is terrible. The good Spiral Mountain, uh, Mumbo's Mountain, the uh, final quiz and Gruntilda's Lair in general. They're all fine levels. Nothing wrong there, is there? No. In the great, we said Treasure Trove Cove and Gobi's Valley. And the best, we said Mad Monster, Mad Monster Mansion, Freezery Peak, and top of the list, Click Clock Wood. Yeah, it's a good list. Yeah, definitely. I don't see, I, I can't even see anything I've changed there. No, no, no. If you've got different thoughts though, let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?